Hello everybody, welcome to the next quest in this Hardcore Iron Man series. This time we're going to be taking on Gunnar's Ground, in which we helped Roran gain the affections of the Barbarian Gudrun. Because apparently that's the thing we do now. Starts off in a Barbarian Village, just over the bridge to the west of Varok, and we're going to have a chat to Roran who's chilling outside the gate here. He'll tell us how in love he is, and ask us to go and make a ring for him, because he's apparently incapable of doing this himself. We'll talk to Jeffrey, who for some reason agrees to trade a perfectly good gold ring for a love poem. A surprise, to be sure, but a welcome one. And then we run with the ring back to Dororan, and he will ask us to engrave it for him. Because apparently he's still incapable of doing anything himself. I'm not entirely sure why his whole courting process involves us doing all the work, and how this is meant to make Gudrun fall in love with him, but apparently it does, so we'll roll with it. Uh, once you engrave the ring, very straightforward, just use a chisel on it, he'll tell you it's perfect, because apparently we're master engravers now that we've got level 5 crafting, and then he'll ask us to go and give the ring to Gudrun, because apparently he's not capable of talking it to her himself, which, you know, I feel like he'll probably have to get over at some point, but anyway. Uh, she will have a bit of an argument for us, and then explain the situation that she can't marry outsiders, even though she apparently wants to, just having been given a ring. Um, and she'll ask us to go and chat to her father. He's chilling in the longhouse up to the north, so talk to him, and he'll get very, very angry about the prospect of his daughter marrying an outsider. Be gone, outlander, you are not welcome here. Have a bit of a chat with him, and it doesn't go particularly well, so we're going to go back to Gudrun and Doran see if they've got any better ideas. She'll give us a bit of backstory about the village and then send us over to Dororan to see if he's got any ideas and in a dramatic turn of events he actually will. He will suggest writing a poem to persuade the entire village to change their ethos because that's a thing that works and we're going to help him write a poem because apparently despite being a poet he can't even do that himself. Uh, go through this little cutscene where we suggest various words based on the hints he's given you. Uh, it's not particularly difficult, uh, just pay attention to what he's saying and you should be able to find the right word without too much difficulty. And after you've done that a few times, and that is all he needs to complete the poem, and he will go and read it to the village chieftain. Oh wait, no he won't, he can't do that, he'll get Gudrun to do it, because that makes sense. I guess it's more reasonable than some of the other things he's been suggesting, so you know what, we'll go with it. Many, many cutscenes in shoe. And you know, after a bit more worrying from Dororan, because we apparently haven't had enough of that this quest, it will turn out that apparently hearing a poem is all the chieftain needed to completely change his mind about just about everything. Uh, so that's great. And this means that Dororan becomes the town poet, gets to marry Gudrun, and gets given a massive house out to the east in Varro, because that's the thing the barbarians have. This quest makes so much sense. But anyway, it's all good. Quest is done, and we get a reward, a little bit of crafting XP, some quest points, which are always nice, and the option to get some more crafting XP later when we're a higher level. And that is pretty much it. Thank you for watching this bizarre little quest. We'll see you for the next one in the series.